Bop. So what we're doing is we're checking out the Mazda RX-7 in a Seto Corsa. Usually I have these lights all on and shiny and all that, but I just want you to check out the cars. There's good cars and there's bad Mazda RX-7s, right? So today I'm going to show you which ones actually do work because a lot of people are just posting the good parts of their play. They're not telling you the facts. And that's what we get into here, the facts. Assetto Corsa, Mazda RX-7, Drift Cars. Links in the description to download the car. Now, you see that car? He's extremely fast. That's a good one. So this car, you could definitely get, and I'll leave the link in the description. But there's a lot of them that don't work. This car is so fast that you actually lose control. Like, it's hard. Now, let me show you my settings in a Seto Corsa. Uh, what I do is I go over here. Hold on. Because it disconnected, the, I pressed the wrong button. What I do is, hopefully you're able to see this. I go to uh, right here, the settings pop, and I go to controls, bing. And for some apparent reason, I could, the little bit of drift that you may know in a set of Corsa, it works better for me when I put the wheel at 1080 here, but within the app or the software to uh your fanatic or your moser wheel or whatever i have it at 900 you get it so it's at 900 here but it's at 1080 uh within game over here as you can see at the top where it says steering uh degrees it says 1080 so Normally, I get a super higher FPS. The reason is at 217 is because I lowered this. Everybody puts this for where it says frame rate. They put it all the way up to like 200, 190 something to get more FPS. My monitor goes to like way higher FPS than 120, but I leave it at 1440p. 2560 by 1440 p 120 and then here i put it at two frames lower when i did that even though i was getting 190 180 fps prior my monitor is 170 or something like that it's not 200 so it's like you kind of like overworking the monitor overclocking it, if you want to say that so when i put it to 120 and I put my other streaming PC to 120. Everything's the same. And I lowered it here to 118. Pop. For some apparent reason, it gives you a smooth, super smooth gameplay. You feel like you're gliding. So let's change Mazda RX-7s so you can see the crap that they are, most of them. 
now they just like super hard to control because they either too fast or they look good but they not all that and they sound horrible like these these actually look good the car i think the red one is amazing there's a few of them that are super amazing uh i never tried these right here holy snap so these i never even paid those no mind but they look good right and i don't know like do you want it to look good or you want it to feel good i think these don't sound that good mazda rx7 let's check this one and of course they got uh sound mods and all that but you don't want to go through that you just want to put it in you want to drift oh this don't sound bad for now maybe i was wrong i'm using the same settings before from the other map wow that looks pretty decent okay over here looks pretty good let's check it out this is what I dislike when they make the car where he's so in to, towards like you. You get it? I'm going to add a little more lighting because I'm not sure you can see the inside of the car. But look. I'll put the brightness up a little bit. So you could pull it out where right here you go to the right side. You see where I tapped on that? Let me put the cursor out so you can see. You go right here. You see this little thing? Follow it. Bing. You tap. You right tap on your screen if you got pure. And you just hit here on the takeaway and it pulls the car out. And then you see like where the head of the driver is at and you got to stop at a certain point right there. You got to bring it back because depending on your neck effect, the car is going to be pulling in and out. Then you save it. You could go up and down, but I leave it right there. Save it. Pop. You could tap it again, the helmet. Pop. And it closes up. he's not that bad of sounding he sounds like he's screaming but his drift is not his drift is not like all that so i do it in all types first person third person 15 person it don't matter what this car got let's see what he got he got any any tricks oh there goes the hood it comes up and oh oh amazing let's see what else Oh, that's it. Oh, it opens up. Bing. Oh, snap. Oh, the lights on the rims. What else? That's it. So that's cool. The backlight. Oh, snap. Where's the other lights? Oh, there it goes. Send. Oh, send nudes, it says. That's crazy. Why would they put that on this? When you hit the brake, it says send nudes. That's wild, bro. <laughs> That's disrespectful. This is what I'm saying. Who makes these things? A freak? So it's hard to control it. You gotta get you gotta get your car set up for you. There's like an empty little space. I never fixed that with this car. I don't really use this car. <laughs> Look, it says when you hit the brake, it says send nudes, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Don't send me no nudes. He's getting busy though. A little bit. He's not bad. 
You just gotta learn them. I don't know if you notice the smooth play that I'm telling you, but the map is like it's gliding towards me. It's like, I don't know, it's a different feel. Check it out. When I when I fix that, and in my video control panel, this is what I did. And this really made it smooth. Now I got let me leave the light up so you can see the set. Oh, but that's only in game. Alright, cool. Look at this. I also did this. This all has to do with your gameplay. This is like a bonus. I was really showing the Mazda card, but I like to talk about all this stuff. Check it out. So you see this MSI Afterburner is is up anyway to 1935. But if you want to make sure where the curve is not like in and out, even though it's good right there. So you go right here, look. Control F pulls that curve out. And you see, this is for the game is like this. And it's straight right here. That's what you want. You want this line to be straight towards when it's going up. But in order to save, uh, like, your voltage, to lower your voltage, I don't know. I leave mine right there. I think it does pretty good itself, the game. But I made this one, which is profile two. I made it the other day. And from 900, you pull it up and leave it right there. And then you add it to the clock. So now this is straight. You don't want a curve. You want it straight. So it's always at it. It's not in and out of frames per second. Is not in and out, up and down on voltage on any timing while you while this thing is clocking it. You understand what I'm saying? Just cause I'm so if I add it, it's gonna be to like 7001 because I couldn't get one of the numbers down. And this the voltage is gonna go down to like nine. But some people like to undervote, but you need voltage in order for the game to look good and play the way it plays, your processor and graphics card, believe it or not, I've heard this from NVIDIA, AMD, it needs to get to a certain degree of hotness in order for it to work. It's only at 63 anyway right now. Mine doesn't go that high because I fixed it within Windows also. So I do a lot of things to keep it cool because it gets super hot. But look, when I, when I apply that, you see it went down to 900 immediately when I applied it. And this went to the 75.1 uh, uh, that I told you. And that's going to stay at 1905, I guess. But it was higher before. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. At least now it's steady. It's not a curve. I don't know. But do I notice any difference in the gameplay? They say that you lose performance when you do that. I haven't felt it yet. Well, may well maybe. <laughs> that right there, you see the cars going back and forth? That's bad. Like the swing, like they swing too much. I, I've always wanted to stop that. Look, when you go like this and you go to stop, the car does too much swivel side to side. That 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 send new thing is like driving me crazy. I'm telling you, I don't know why. But anyway, that's in a Seto Corsa, these Mazdas, right? And maybe you've seen some that you like, but this is like, oh, this is another, the best, look, they all, were faster cars. The ones I showed you earlier, I think it was this one. They like a thousand something in speeds. 800, a thousand. Now look at how a uh, 380 in speed car goes. When it goes, when it comes to drifting or anything. It's, this is not about my drift. This is about the car, right? 
This car doesn't sound all that if I remember him good, but it's a slower drift, right? And check this out. think it looks better like a smoother drift i do and it feels like you're having fun the other ones are fun because you're trying to keep up with the with the speed of it it's kind of sort of like this look get it like this is a way faster car bro like super faster oh snap oh 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 so i think that you enjoy the game better overall with a slower car of course unless you're super professional but check it out So I'm in somebody else's server. A lot of people fought me for liking this game way better than a Seto Corsa, but it's that it gives you a smoother drift. Some of the cars sound like super doodle unless you go and you get like a sound mod and connect it to your PC or your setup, however you're doing it, right? And you could change the sound of the car. I made it where it doesn't sound super bad, but it's not too good either. But there is better sound for them and all that mods you can add. With that being said, I think it is a more fun drift because it lets you feel like you're drifting the whole time. A Seto, you have to work more, and I get it, because it's more closer to real life than Car X Street Racing Online. But we must admit that Car X Street Racing Online's physics have gotten extremely good, and it's a fun game. This is the same map that was on the other game because we actually took it from this game ah, and put it over there with the magic right now that went down let's check it out look at the drift it's never like a problem like the other one now you're gonna have a control issue if depending on how you set it up also right that's happening because my mouse i have it to both pcs let me just Take care. Take care of that right now. Bop. Check it out. Oh my God! Now it's getting me extremely tight. Stop! Chill out, bro. Why are you doing that? Oh 
my god, what the hell is happening? It keeps the game is closing. We're gonna get out of his. His thing is giving me bad luck. Let's go to my own. Oh my god, what did I do right now? Let's go to my own map. His map is driving me nuts. This is my own server. Oh, what happened? Then what shot? What the? Why does the thing keep closing? What happened? What is? What do I have open that keeps closing the game? Is it that? What in the world keeps closing the game? Something keeps closing the game. Holy snap! What keeps closing the game? Oh, is it this? Yeah, what? Hold on. I get it. It wasn't my Elgato Stream Deck Mobile. All right, check it. So look at the smoother gameplay, I think. Like when it comes to the car. It's just more fun to me. And you get to fix the inside of the cars quick. Like in, in a settle, you could do all this, like paint your car and all that, but you got to go through a lot. They make it all easy for you right here. You could play with your guys. You see the chat is open right there. Everybody's in the chat in different servers or in my server. Whichever server they want to go to, you could go to. I just think it's all a better overall experience in this one. But you don't have like a lot of Mazdas to choose from, like in a settle. Like this is the Mazda you got and that's that. You get it? <laughs> but look at the fun in this one. The spins in a settle are not like that for some reason. A lot of things are different, and I get it, it's more realistic driving, but not everybody wants a realistic experience. Some people just want to have fun, like me. I drove for a living, trucks and school buses, so I'm not looking too much for a real driving experience. I'm looking to have fun, and I love cars. Like, what boy don't, right? It's rare. So. I don't think it even looks bad, the map. And I didn't even fix the coloration. So there's a Mazda RX-7. And I don't even have his speed all the way up. The, if you want a better drift, you gotta keep the speed of the car lowered. And the Ackerman here at zero. That's where I keep it. For wheels, not for controllers, for wheels. I don't know about controllers. I don't drive cars with controllers, respectfully. Magic. Look, <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> so being I put a real wheel, I modded the buttons to my keyboard and to that phone before it just went bad on the screen. So I just downloaded the same app to my Galaxy Ultra S23. I'm a galaxy, man. I'm from another galaxy. Can't you tell? Ooh. 
Look what we do, we different. Bop, oh, the bop, the bop. So what card game is your best card game? Do you have one? And if so, which is your best car and map there? Let us know. Let us know what should we talk about next. What tips and tricks should we show you to make your gameplay and your experience as a gamer or content creator any better? Let us know in the comment section. We read all comments are super important, except those that are deemed disrespectful or trollish. We don't deal with that. We block the hate all the time. You should too. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Love. God is watching. Stay safe. Stay sideways. Drift gang. Bye.